Hey guys, Bilal Kassam, Managing Partner, Co-Founder and President of Pacific Workers, the Lawyers for Injured Workers. We actually get a fair amount of police officers as clients and their cases have unique challenges. Oftentimes there are presumptions that are applicable to police office injuries, such as the fact that police officers wear a gun belt, they can have presumptive low back injuries. They can also be entitled to what's called salary continuation or typically 4850 pay, which means that in lieu of temporary disability, they actually get their full salary for an entire year before going on to temporary disability. Additionally, workers comp can greatly impact their retirement. So a lot of police officers are in the CalPERS system or equivalent, and there's an issue with service credits and essentially making sure that your workers compensation case doesn't affect your retirement in a negative way. Additionally, there's also things to consider like industrial disability or disability retirement and how you can apply for those utilizing your workers comp case to ensure that after a long career, you're taken care of. If you have any questions, please follow up with us www.pacificworkers.com.